Microsoft recently came up with a brand new tool, the App Builder in Microsoft 365 Copilot, and I wanted to put it to the test. So here I am, I've built a resume summary, a resume summarizer. So if you are in HR and you receive resumes, here we are, look at the prompt right here, build an app to track incoming resumes. We need to be able to be able to upload the resumes as PDF. It will populate different columns, have a drop down menu where we'll be able to pick which recruiter is responsible for this candidate and have field where we can add notes. I literally went to the bathroom while this was built. I'm doing a voiceover right now. I'm not used to do these kind of videos and I can pick the recruiter from the drop down menu here that is responsible for this candidate and I can add some notes. It took roughly, I think it like took five minutes to build this app and honest with you, it gave me a few bad results at first, but I kept going and I'll show you in this video how I got some problems and I think the results is pretty useful, pretty cool. So just to give you an idea of what you can build with these. So as you can see, I have my list of candidates right here and I can upload resumes. I made some resumes with uh, Copilot, as you can see, I can upload a resume and boom, you can see at the bottom, it added my data analyst. But what I didn't like here is that it didn't say, oh, it's Sarah. Her name is Sarah. You know, I don't see it here. So my app was a little bit bugged, but of course I just started with a very basic prompt and uh, I can add some more notes in here. So what I will do right now is that I will go back into the prompting in this, in this app. So to the, to the bottom left, and I will say, Hey, uh, I will actually attach the resume and I will say, Hey, I just uploaded this resume and I got the wrong result. So I'm telling my app, you're not behaving as you should. And I gave examples. So like this is prompting 101. You should give example if you want the right results. So I just said, Hey, I just uploaded this resume. The data analyst role should be uh, shown and the name should be Sarah. The candidate should be Sarah. And look at this. It reasoned to the left in three steps. And now I can see that the candidate will be fixed. So I tried it again. I uploaded another resume. I will upload, I think it's Kevin in this case, <laughs> all fake names. I don't know these people upload resume. I will upload Kevin and look at this. If I scroll down, I see now data analyst candidate Kevin, and then I can again, select the recruiter and uh, I can put some notes. I built this from scratch. Honest with you, like was my third take. I tried a few times. So now I ask, could we add a column that we could, we will be, sorry, could we add a column that we will be click here to see resume or just a PDF icon? And my goal with this is that imagine you have recruiters internally, you just click on the little icon and it will pop the resume, right? It will pop the PDF. So I know most people probably have some HR tools, bamboo recruiter tools. I can't, can't remember the name of these tools, but, uh, and they will have this thing, but it's just to give you like, what this app can do. And as you can see here, I added Kevin and it didn't work. Um, it didn't work when I tried to add, to add resume, it says fail to upload. So as I like to tell to people, when you have bad results with AI, just go again. You say it doesn't work. It says fail to upload resume, right? Like right here, because I tried to upload another resume and I will hit play here and <clears throat> it will just go and do the tasks. You see here, it's uploading, updating the home page. This is sped up, of course, and I will try again and I will upload Fatima's resume here right now. Boom, Fatima's resume. And you will see at the bottom data analyst Fatima, this worked. And I have a little icon to the bottom right. And when I click on this icon, I will select the recruiter first. <laughs> when I click on the icon at the bottom right, boom, it will open the resume. So I think it is pretty cool. It's like a very basic resume that you see on the screen right now. I think the app builder, uh, we're just starting with this. There will be so much that we can do here. Imagine at the Christmas party, you need to get some invoice, expense, whatever, quick question for the Christmas party, make this a custom app, make sure it works properly, you know, for very basic stuff. And I think this is where we're going with Copilot. Hope you enjoy the app builder. I did this very quickly as a voiceover. I tested it many times and I had a few failed attempts, but at the end of the day, I think I received some cool uh, results and maybe you could add a little X to delete the row when this row is not needed. So very cool. Let me know what you think about that in the comment and I will catch you very soon.